Hello, precious viewers. I'm Emily. The wonderful people of Jersey and the Channel Islands salute your noble actions and pray that heaven may shower you with ever more protection and love. The spirited monthly newspaper the World's Advanced Thought was a monthly periodical founded by Lucy A. Mallory in 1886. The paper's motto was, Love is the way, the truth and the life. Mrs. Lucy Mallory contributed her own spiritual writings as well as the inspired contributions of others. She served as writer, editor and publisher of the paper, which had an international readership that included renowned Russian author and vegetarian Leo Tolstoy. Through this uplifting publication, Lucy Mallory highlighted themes that emphasized the inner light of the human being. She also advocated vegetarianism for its loving kindness to other beings. Throughout her life, Lucy Mallory also acted on her humanitarian beliefs. She used her own funds, for example, to open a school for children of color so that they could receive an education. She was also an animal rights activist and a vegetarian advocate who hosted meetings of the local vegetarian society in her newspaper's office. She once said, vegetarianism is becoming worldwide. We are not speaking of forced vegetarianism, that doesn't count. We are speaking of vegetarians who have adopted the humane diet because of a sense of justice to animals. And also, the animal is not soulless. It has the seeds of all human principles. Through the lower forms of life, these seeds are dormant. Every human principle is there, but unborn, save the vital, the astral and the instrumental. We now share with you selections from the periodical The World's Advanced Thought. Key Thoughts Love is self-supporting. Truth comes through growth. Planes of evolution are classes in school. Wisdom and harmony are Siamese twins. Selfishness is the road to spiritual pauperism. Thoughts are the causes of things, their effects. Good living alone brings happiness and satisfaction. Happiness is divine wealth, the greatest riches in the universe. The selfish are the soulless, for unselfishness is soul unfoldment. Every thought, feeling or action is self-rewarding or self-punishing. Do as well as you know how each day, and you will make the best possible use of life. The only way to get to heaven is through your mind. Your legs won't take you there. The mortal sees life from the outside. The immortal sees life from the inside. Love is all sufficient to itself. Love makes perfect. When love has become conscious in us, then is life joyous in all its expressions. Keep the mind filled with kind, loving thoughts, and you will never be burdened. The angels of the Lord will bless you. The difference between an angel and a devil is that the angel makes a heaven out of a Hades, and the devil makes a Hades out of a heaven. The only reason that we die, give our bodies to corruption, is because we have not learnt to prevent it but we can know and we are going to know. Then death itself will die, and only life, in all its resplendent glory, will be ever present in our consciousness. No matter where you may go in the universe, you will never find any other God but the God manifesting in forms of life, for God is the one life, wherein and whereby all forms of life exist. How else could they be? Love. Love knows. 
Love satisfies. Love yourself. Love is a reformer. Love is the creator. Love overcomes death. Love prevents old age. Love transforms all enmity. Love makes things intelligent. Love is the door to happiness. Love has a universal language. Love is spiritual understanding. Love never fails in any purpose. Love purifies everything it touches. Love is clairvoyant and clairaudient. Love things and they will be beautiful. Love transforms all discords to harmony. Love is a sure wrinkle eradicator, no charges. Love dissolves the veil between this world and the spirit world. Love conquers death. I, love is stronger, far than death, and wins the victory over the grave. Dependent on no mortal breath, its mission is to guide and save. Above the wrecks of death and time, it triumphs changeless and sublime. Still shall my love its vigils keep, true as the needle to the pole. For death is not a dreamless sleep, nor is the grave man's final goal. The larger growth, the life divine, all that I hoped or wished are mine. We are now at the parting of the ways. The old is going out, and the new is coming in, and this makes a condition that affects all sensitives, and causes something akin to unhappy feelings to come over them. All things, even inanimate things, are sending out this feeling of not wanting to leave the old way and entering upon the new. The new is untried, and the old does not know what to expect from it. It is like one having to leave home for an unknown and untried field of endeavor. One wants to go, and yet one is averse to going because of uncertainty as to the outcome. The angel of the Lord now comes to bring us glad tidings of great joy. It is coming, the harvest of the soul. There comes a gathering time when we have to reap what the sower has sown. Humanity's baby period is now ended. Every individual is now being turned out of his easy and sheltering nest to fly with the wings of his own soul. Rule or ruin is a double-edged sword that cuts both ways. Fault finding belongs to the night of existence, good to the day. The fulfilling time of the new, the true, and the good is here. The fragrance of the world blossom will permeate all the earth and its humanity. God now materializes to human comprehension. This is the day of judgment. When the world begins to pay, when the killing ceases, contagious diseases will cease. God is the true light in one, the light of love, the light of intelligence, and the light of day. The opposite, or God's shadow, is the true darkness in one. The darkness of hatred, the darkness of ignorance, and the darkness of night. Virtue grows and thrives in the first, and criminality in the last. Where love rules, God rules. Where hatred rules, the shadow reigns. Where wisdom is, God is there. Where ignorance prevails, the shadow is on top. The best remedy we know of for world weariness, moroseness, lonesomeness, is to clean up. Clean up the mind, clean up the heart, clean up the body, and above all, clean up the surroundings. We never knew anyone afflicted with the above undesirable traits, but was lazy and neglectful, and let his surroundings go filthy, and spent his time filling his mind with illusions, delusions, and discords. There was never a time since humanity 
has had its inception into consciousness, when there has been so much cause for unconfined joy and rejoicing as there is now. Sorrow comes from the ignorance that does not know the real purpose of life. There is a glorious time coming soon. The Lord is over all, and all disorder must now come into heavenly order. Keep a cheerful heart, and be quiet, and heaven will be in control. The stone the builders rejected become the head of the corner. That which we have named spiritualism is going to take a great unfoldment, and the world is going to blossom into greater wisdom, love, and gladness. The ultimate of life is to make all things good and perfect. Those who will not come in directly on the good side will have to come in indirectly through the agony, misery, and suffering of the bad side. But come in, they must. The Lord will bless you and keep you in perfect cleanliness. In all the universe of time, to die is impossible. Never to be is the only death. Now comes the glorious time when we all grow heavenward. <laughs>